Hi everyone, I'm we here and today I'm so happy to share with you my intense moisture infused wash day routine. This method has been a game changer especially in the overall health of my hair and I can't wait to share this with you all. And if this is your first time here, welcome to the family. So, not only is this routine very convenient, it does also helps me to retain moisture and to hold up my size much longer until my next wash day, which is very, very essential. Hence, if this is your first time here and you would like to see more of my content, make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I put up a new video. Now we are starting off on a 9 day old twist out and after this entire wash process we are going to transform this dry crusty hair into soft moisturized and rejuvenated hair. I start off by pre pooing my hair with olive oil. This prepares my hair for the shampoo process that follows. After transferring the oil into an applicator bottle, I go ahead and divide my hair. Taking one section out of the way, I then divide the other half into workable subsections, clipping each section out of the way. Here in my bottle is regular water from the tap. I like to spritz my hair with water in order to avoid any breakage before manipulation. I further go ahead to separate with my fingers and this white residue you see here isn't that. This is product built up from over the few days which I've had my twist. So after working in the water, I go in with my oil. I make sure I use quite a lot of it and I'm even going to go in again with some more. I saturate each strand properly with this oil and this will help me in providing slip that would aid in detangling. And as I walk this oil along the length of my hair, I gently start pulling the hair apart, removing any shed hair. Mind you, I am very gentle with this process and you will see how the shed hair easily slips off of my hair. Now I go in with my white tooth comb. And the goal here is not to take out all the tangles, just the major ones. Then go in with even more of that oil and twist up that section. Repeat the same steps for every section. And now we are going to fast forward through this remaining half and only come back to show you when we start twisting the second half of the hair. I am going to explain this one more time. First, we start by dividing our hair into workable subsections. Then, you go ahead and spray each section with water. Make sure you work in this water really well. Afterwards, you follow up with your oil. And as you walk in this oil, make sure you saturate all the strands with the oil, focusing to the ends of your hair. Then you can go in with your white tooth comb and start combing out your hair gently, starting from the ends to the root. And as I mentioned earlier, the goal here is not to thoroughly comb your hair, but to take out the major tangles and you will see how this shed hair just slip off easily from the hair. And once you're satisfied with that section, twist it up and take it out of the way. 
So you're going to do the same for the rest of the hair, repeating the same procedures throughout each section and twisting it up. So it took me about 20 to 30 minutes to completely prepare my hair for the pre pull process. But normally, if I was not filming this process, it would take me about 10 to 15 minutes to be done with it. It might seem like a lot, but when you get the hang of it, you will see that it is very straightforward. Preparing your hair this way before your wash process helps protect your hair and prevents it from breakage during washing. It also nourishes and conditions your hair protecting it against the harsh elements of shampoos, especially if you are using the stripping shampoos. And because I wash my hair every two weeks, whenever it's wash day, I tend to strip off everything from my hair. So before doing that, I do this intense pre pull process. Once I'm done twisting my entire hair, I go in with more of that oil and coat my ends because they are the oldest part of our hair and they need more love and nurturing. Then I cover my head with plastic bags and on top of that I go in with this wrap for more warmth. After about 45 minutes, it's time for the shampoo process. Now I'm transferring some of my shampoo in an applicator bottle. I add to it a few drops of my tea tree oil, it's about 10 drops of it and then fill the rest of the bottle with water and stir everything up. I take down now my hair wraps and start applying this um, shampoo to my hair. As I take down my hair, it feels very soft, nourished and moisturized which is a very good base to start off with. I like this process because with this I can do most of my washing out of the shower in front of my mirror while seeing what I'm doing properly. Focusing the shampoo to the root of my hair, I work it into my entire hair while massaging it in really good. Don't forget the perimeters of your hair and massage your hair really properly. Not only my scalp but I make sure I'm running this shampoo through the entire length of my hair. From here, I moved over to the sink to rinse out everything. It's so refreshing, this feels like a big Once my hair is thoroughly rinsed and all the shampoo out of my hair, I now move to the deep conditioning. I like to apply my deep conditioners when my hair is still dripping wet. So I was trying to finish up the remaining conditioners here in these bottles. Now I go ahead to apply the deep conditioner starting from the tips of my hair working my way up. Taking each section out of the way, I continue the same process throughout my entire hair. It's very important to work in an organized manner because it also helps your hair from tangling up before you finish your entire process. and then continue with the application process for my entire hair. Even though we are trying to focus the conditioner to the ends of our hair, make sure you don't forget the roots as well. Every part of the hair needs to be conditioned, not forgetting the perimeters as well. Once I'm done, I flip my hair over and gather it to the top. Once everything is gathered to the top, I then go forward and put on my plastic bags while preparing the deep conditioning thermal cap. 
This thermal cap is made up of flax seeds and it's recommended to place it in the oven for about 2 minutes to heat it up before you wear it on your head for deep conditioning. Now after about 10 to 15 minutes, I hop into the shower to rinse off the deep conditioner for my head and finally detangle my hair. As I run down the water through my hair, the downward motion with the force of gravity helps to even bring down more of the shaded hair. You can see it coming through very easily. I make sure I rinse out the deep conditioner out of my hair very thoroughly and then move forward to detangle it using a slippage conditioner. Oh yes, see how here that shed hair comes through. Now taking one section of my hair out of the way, I go forward and apply my conditioner to the other half of the hair. This is a Tresomme conditioner and it's got a lot of slip. Walk it in and then follow with a white tooth comb to start detangling. Once the conditioner is out, I now divide this half of the hair into three sections. After applying the leave-in conditioner to this section, I then go in with the comb, starting from the ends making my way up to the roots of the hair. I make sure I'm really gentle with this process. and my hair is properly detangled and twisted up and out of the way. Then I repeat the same steps for the rest of my hair. Then I follow up with my oil to seal in this moisture. See how fresh, smooth and nice my hair looks right now. Nothing beats a perfect wash routine. I do the same thing to the other side of my hair. My hair feels so clean and ready to be styled now. I will be installing some twist on this hair to style it up so if you want to see how I style up my hair be on the watch for the next video see you in my next one bye bye